Hello, I am Neeraj. In this part of the tutorial, I will explain the concept of quantized low rank adaptation techniques for fine tuning process. But uh, I will suggest you to go through the low rank adaptation tutorials in the previous part that is discussed in the previous part because the quantized low rank adaptations just uses minor changes in low rank adaptation techniques. So if you go through the previous tutorials then you will understand that in low rank adaptation techniques we use those process. Suppose we have a original weight matrix W in our pre-trained architecture, pre-trained model with weight W. Then we select the low rank update matrices A and B and then we will calculate the update matrix by multiplying it and then we update the matrix by adding it with the original matrix. So now what is the difference here? So in the quantized low rank adaptations we have used here like this kind of matrices we have and we took uh, two smaller matrices A and B. Now the main difference is that quantized low rank adaptations makes through quantization process and dequantization process. This process actually reduces the computations overhead. So how it over how it reduces? So first is the first part is the scaling. We find the maximum absolute value in A and B both. So here you can find that uh, this is the maximum value 0.6. Now the second part is normalization. So we will divide all value by 0.6. And after that rounding. So rounding means like uh, if it is uh, near to 1 then we will consider at 1 like that. For example 0. If we divide it by 0.6 it will be near to less than 0.5 so it will be 0. 0.3 so it may be like 0.5 so if we consider like 0.5 or greater then we can consider 1 so that way we will change the entire matrix here it is 0.6 so 0.6 division by 0.6 it is 1 here it is 0.2 divided by 0.6 it will be less than 0.5 so it is 0 that way we have just to create a rounded matrix so now we converted the matrix into the integer format. So this is the important part. Here the matrix is in the, is in the integer format instead of floating point format. So if we use the matrix in the integer format, then it will reduce the computation overhead to a very high level. Now you will think that if we do such kind of quantization then how we can dequantize and get the original value. So for that these are the process. During the inference or training we dequantize the matrices by multiplying the quantized value back by scaling factor. So this is our scaling factor that I had decided earlier. Then we calculate the update matrices and these dequantized matrices. So first we have to dequantize matrices. So here, here our k equal to 0.6. So we will just uh, multiply it with 0.6 and then we will calculate this delta. And after that it is same. The new weight matrices will be old weight matrix plus this final matrix. So here you can also see that. Now as I discussed in earlier tutorial also the fine tuning process actually contains full phases of training cycles so a full phase of training cycle of any deep learning contains forward pass and backward pass and update and some iterations and then update both so here also First part is to quantize. So convert the pre-trained LLM weight to a lower precision format. For example, you can add is like 8 bit, 16 bit kind of format. Then initialize the low rank matrices. 
then apply the forward pass then compute the output by using the current low rank matrices a and b then compute the loss predicted output and ground truth and then backward pass here we compute the gradient by taking both of those matrices not just by single matrices by using both matrices and then we will update the low rank matrices and after that we reconstruct so reconstruct means we will calculate the update matrix delta by using this and after that we will repeat this entire process so this process i already discussed here so like uh, this is the final matrix computation stage so this is similar to our low rank adaptation techniques so only the intermediate part after this part they they added additional part like this so this part is added here to reduce the computation overhead and here you can see that due to this kind of use of quantizations it highly reduce the computational complexity and resource requirements but little degrades the performance if you just compare it with respect to the computational overhead and uh, training time and resources it is uh, manageable so this is the quantized or low rank adaptation techniques so in the next tutorials i will try to explain that what are the next quantization techniques in this area and how the fine tuning process in the large language models actually growing so thanks for watching